I've never done any construction like this before. I've done some remodeling and stuff in my own home. It's kind of my first time, but it's fun to learn and have new experiences doing this kind of thing. Our team is feeling pretty confident about this project. My team's feeling pretty confident. We're getting a lot of stuff done. On learning, you can grow closer with people the more you work with them. The floors were moldy and messy and unsafe to walk on and we tore them up and now we're replacing them. The project we're working on pretty much replacing the, the floors and the walls in the bathroom. This is the bathroom. We just laid down this flooring and we're getting ready to paint. This is the bedroom. And we just finished uh, drywalling the ceiling, and then we're going to drywall the walls, and then we're going to paint in here. And then we're moving into the kitchen as soon as this room is done. We've all been working together and doing like it's organized, and people are really helpful. Uh, we're at this house here and they want to have us build a deck. Uh, yesterday in the beginning we had like a hole in the front porch so we had to cover it up with new wood we had. And now we're using the leftovers to build a deck. This is my third Christian Endeavor Missions Week. I've seen myself become more familiar and more comfortable with uh, talking to the homeowners and talking to the people that we're trying to help and just growing with them, creating like this different relationship with them. Our relationship with the homeowners is even more important than the construction project. Like a deck is a fairly permanent object, but even more permanent is someone's emotions or someone's relationship with Christ. That Taking the wood out of the bottom of the shower so we can put in plywood so there's no holes so if they go in they won't fall through. We are doing trim work. <laughs> Wow. I have a brain food. <laughs> wow. He's not even flinching so either. Hi. Chuck Jewell, roving reporter for Christian Endeavor 2017 here in Brunswick County, South Carolina. I'm interviewing a few people today. Hi ladies, can you give us your names please and move up a little bit because I'm at the end of my rope. <laughs> Isabel, Bree, Bailey. Are you sure those are your names? No. Yes. Okay, so what have you been doing here at the work site? Uh, we painted the trailer. Inside or outside? The outside. Okay, you had to keep looking at it. Are you sure you painted the trailer? No. Okay, okay, you painted the trailer. What else did you guys do? We ripped out the tub inside at in the bathroom, and we're also ripping out the flooring. Wow, are you going to replace it? Yes. Okay, well, you just said you were ripping it out. You didn't say what you're doing. Okay, what else are you doing besides that? <laughs> Eating ice pops. <laughs> what flavor is the best? 
blue. Blue. Is that a flavor? Yeah, a blue flavor. is a flavor. Okay, okay. So, so far, what has been your most memorable experience here at CE Work Camps this week? The power outage. Ah, the power outage last night. You'll have to see footage of that later. Give me one of the stupidest or funnest experiences you've had so far this week. Getting bit by ants. That was awful. It was fun getting bit by ants? No, stupid. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Anybody else? <laughs> same. Same, same, same. Okay. Sure. Do you have any other parting thoughts for us that you would like to share of wisdom or good Eat more popsicles. What? Eat more popsicles. Eat more ice pops. Eat more ice pops. Eat more ice pops. Always good wisdom when it's warm. Have a great day, Chuck Jewell.